This is Adam from Poland and Schnecke from Germany playing one of the most incredible Tetris matches of all time in the finals of the Tetris World Cup of Das in Firth, Germany on August 21st. In this video, I'll be breaking down why it was so special, starting with game one, which featured a crazy comeback with something you almost never see in NES Tetris. Three, two, one, Tetris! So first of all, what is a DAS tournament? Basically, the button mashing techniques such as hyper tapping and rolling that dominate the modern scene are banned. So each player must hold down the D-pad to use the game's built-in piece movement to move the pieces to the sides. This movement isn't super fast and is barely enough to maneuver pieces to the side when the game reaches faster speeds, so players must decide where to put their next piece while it's in the next box and start moving it into place as soon as it enters the field. Gameplay becomes nearly impossible at level 29 or 200 30 lines in which the game reaches its maximum speed and pieces can no longer reliably reach the sides at all. So players must try and score as many points as possible before level 29 with Tetrises, four lines at once, which are worth much more points than lesser line clears. So towards the end of game one, Schnecke is absolutely cruising. He's got over a 180,000 point lead, which is equivalent to about five Tetrises, while Adam's board is in huge trouble. But suddenly Schnecke misdrops a square right as Adam opens up his board and gets a Tetris and Schnecke is on the ropes. The piece movement is not fast enough to allow Schnecke to survive at this height and a hung square ends the game. Adam is perfectly set up for a Tetris, waits for the long bar and gets it but enters level 28 and he is seemingly out of time. He has just 10 lines left before the game enters the deadly level 29 but he is 3.06 Tetrises behind. He has enough runway to use 8 lines for 2 Tetrises, burn a single and then set up for a final Tetris that he can get before the game enters the level 29 speed. The problem is the single is is only worth about 0.04 Tetrises, which would leave him 0.02 Tetrises short. So Adam must get every Tetris remaining and then play on the kill screen to win. He gets the first one, now only down two Tetrises. He's gonna build out the sides, wisely avoiding creating any awkward dependencies in the center, and fills it in now as Tetris ready, doesn't take the double with a J because he can't burn a double, gets the second Tetris, amazing adjustment with the T to avoid an LJ dependency, but he's not burning the single. He'll now need two lines on the kill screen and takes the Tetris into level 29, gets the JPs for the side clears once and clears twice in the center and a third time to solidify the victory. Adam wins game one by a 20th of a Tetris just eking across a victory on level 29 with Das which virtually never happens. Here's an instant replay of the crowd reaction. Now it's more, middle, than, now. more than one he Tetris. More, more than one Tetris. He needs to burn. Put it in the middle. He needs to burn. He needs Are to me? burn. On 29. 2,000 points. Oh, 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 Das on kill screen. Wow. This is wow. only game number one, guys. That, that was insane. The series wasn't over yet, as it was a best of seven match, and Adam and Schnecke ended up trading games all the way until they were tied at three games apiece. We're going seven! Let's go! In game seven, everything was on the line with Adam and Schnecke less than a Tetris apart and Adam made a critical move that changed everything. At the last moment, he shifted this L piece to the left and placed the square to the right center, which put him in an incredibly dangerous position high up on the board, needing a line piece to fill the hole. It may have been an intentional gamble or a panic move after mistakenly moving the L piece, but it doesn't matter now. Adam is out of options. All he can do is set up for a Tetris and hope the line piece comes. It's getting too high up. Adam can't get pieces over to the side for much longer and gets a line piece just in time for the Tetris, tucks the T piece, gets another line piece and just manages to get a J piece over to skip the line and escapes with a Tetris to take the lead. It is hard to describe just how improbable it is to get out of a situation like that with Das, but the reaction of the crowd paints a pretty accurate picture. Adam set up for Tetris. Tetris readiness for Adam. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh. Adam at the lead right now! At the very end of the game, Adam and Schnecke were only 0.03 Tetrises apart. Adam managed to get a Tetris while Schnecke reopened his Tetris well but had to burn down as the board was too unstable. Adam knocked down another Tetris while Schnecke masterfully managed the risk potential of each placement. Finally just about out of it but accidentally pressed the left button a fraction of a second too early for the T piece. Intending to burn with the T piece and then move the next line piece all the way to the left, he was instead forced to drop the line piece in the center and his board spiraled out of control 
right as Adam hit the level 29 kill screen. Adam was ahead and then managed to hold on to take the 2022 DAS World Cup title. Adam is your DAS World Champion! The DAS World Cup had basically the best finals one could hope for. But the Tetra season is just getting started. As the biggest event of the year, the World Championships featuring all play styles, is happening in Portland, Oregon in less than two months. It'll be the first live World Championships in three years due to the pandemic. And as a result, some players are currently fundraising to be able to make the trip out to compete, including two of the lead organizers of the DAS World Cup. If you'd like to donate to them or any other players in the community in need to help make this year's World Championships the most star-studded live event ever, I'll leave a link to the fundraising website in the description. And if you're watching this video the day it comes out, there's also a community fundraising live stream happening on the Classic Tetris Twitch channel with many fun festivities and prizes. And if you'd like to watch another competitive Tetris match breakdown, this match was also played with Das and had an even more unbelievable finish. You can click right on screen to watch it.